right, today we got a couple things going on. Well, they're working on my house. The sloshers and uh, Rylan, the electrician, those guys are awesome. We uh, got a call yesterday saying that there was a storm that came through in Canada and it stopped a lot of the trucks from moving peas and other type of product down in the US. So the place down here that we're gonna deliver our peas are like, hey, we, we kinda need your peas right now so we can keep things moving because we got no trucks coming in. So we're gonna get the auger around, well the backco conveyor, not auger, conveyor, and go put it next to that West Steel bin, get the blue Peterbilt started, and we're running about how many loads? Three, wasn't about, it? About three, about a fill a car. Yeah, about three loads, because they're gonna Not put a it, Prius. <laughs> yeah, no, no Prius, unless it's got diesel engine in it. Then you can roll coal in a Prius. Anyways, yeah, so they're gonna put about 3,000 bushels roughly into a train car. So anyways, that's kind of what's going on today. All uh, right. Yeah. Easy peasy. We have not started this conveyor in a couple months now. And it's about uh, 20 degrees out. Yeah, I'd say it's 20, 22. About 20, 22 degrees out. So it's a little chilly, but this engine here has a fuel injected motor in it. And let's see if it... <laughs> That's nice. That's really nice where you don't have to worry about carburetors and yeah, this back cookie bear is pretty awesome. All right. Let's raise this tire up. Now I'm just gonna let it run so it can warm up the engine. We're gonna take it over, put some gas in it, and then we'll put it, take it all the way over to the bins. And uh, hopefully, before we take over the bins, we need to make sure that that uh, conveyor isn't stuck. Well, that's good. It's not stuck. So we're uh, gonna let it run for a little bit, kind of loosen up the belt some, and then uh, while we drive over there, we'll just let it run, right? That way it doesn't get frozen again if it just decides to. Good deal. Awesome. One less thing to worry about. Where is Kobe, by the way? I don't know. I went back to the shop. I thought I left huh. him in the pickup. He wasn't in the pickup. Uh, I, I think when we went and got the auger, I saw a little cottontail ah. run. So I bet he's running around back there with, the, with having a bunny of a time. All right, now that we've got the back hook conveyor set up and he tried the unloading auger from the bin and it seemed to turn on, which is good. Uh, we're gonna go grab the red, uh, blue peat, which is in this building right over here. And by rights, it shouldn't give us any trouble. I said too, I probably spoke way too soon. Uh, I don't know about that. We, I think we used it uh, five times during harvest. Not very many times. <laughs> no, that's exaggerating, Dad. Yeah. Way too much. All right, all right. Uh, we'll yeah. double it. We'll double it and then divide it by two. That'll be about right. <laughs> Either way, we didn't use it enough. Uh, it was Not a little, enough. Little sad. All right, I'm going to drop you off, and then okay. you can open the door, and I'll meet you on the other side. Okay. Okay. We we really need to take the concrete demo saw and chop through part of the wall on this other side of this building and make a walk-in door on this side because we have to go all the way, I'll just park right here. We gotta go from that end to this end to get things out. It's a little bit of an inconvenience, but that's okay. And about the time that I get over here, he'll have this bad boy pretty much open, I hope. Okay. 
All right, I don't see any big puddles of oil underneath the truck, which is good. That's a really good feeling. Uh, I'm going to throw the master on. We'll start it up, walk around, and check tires. Now, the truck's got really nice tires on the front and the back. The trailer, hit and miss. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a... Uh, it wants to work. You're probably wondering why aren't we using 9370? Well, it's gonna get a little warmer today. And uh, things are gonna get slushy and a little uh, muddy. And I don't feel like washing that 9370. And this thing's a little bit dirtier than the 9370. But so far it's good. We'll just let the air build up in it, and uh, yeah, let's go haul some peas, guys. The little peas we have, but we're gonna haul some. wondering is that steam coming out of the bin no that's dust and the reason for is when you well if you guys saw our harvest videos we were raking those headers on the ground and we probably got 95% dust and 5% peas in there I don't know but there's a little bit of dust Jake break. Got her in about third. Just let it idle down. Shut it off. Yeah. That's the brakes. They work great on this truck. Okay, so I got to go across the high railroad track and highway. And then uh, we're going to... Uh, different location than where we take the, the wheat. Uh, this is a uh, little smaller operation that handles a lot of the variety uh, crops other than the standard wheat. Uh, so we've sold two of them before. They're great guys. So we'll get this unloaded, get back and get another load. Okay, we got our second load at the scale. Well, actually, in the dump pit, we're unloading it right now, as you can see. And Kobe jumped aboard. How you doing, Kobe? How you doing? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Are ya? Yeah. Yeah, he would have been with my first one, but uh, 
there was a cottontail that happened to jump up when we were getting the auger. What do you think? You like rabbits? You love rabbits, right? Hmm? Yeah, he does. All right, in a moment we'll be done and then we'll head out. Get one more load. How about one more load? You want to get one more load? Huh? Hold your finger up. There, one more load. Okay. Okay, I forgot about Kobe. I've been just driving back and forth. Kobe, you want to go? You want to run over there? Whoa, 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 just a minute. Let me get it ready. Oh, there you go. Is it going too fast? I think you can make it now. Oh, the door is closing. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Keep doing it. And like that, we're too cold. Going inside. Do it tomorrow. <sighs> well, random video. Insert into a random video. But uh, it's hunting season, as you can tell by my orange. And I've been gone on a trip for like we only have a three-week season here. But I've been gone for two and a half weeks, and I was sick when we got back. So literally, the season ends tomorrow. I was like, I gotta just put meat in the freezer. That's all I'm doing today is put meat in the freezer. And I got on the buck that I knew was out there. Five by five kickers off each side, so I guess I'd be a six by six, or for you, your Eastern folk, a 12 pointer, mule deer. And um, yeah, I uh, had it right on his kill zone. He was just standing there looking at me, 100 yards, pull the trigger, click. What? Rack another one, click. Duds, are you kidding me? Takes off running, but by the time I climb over the hill to get at him, he's already far over the train tracks and gone. I can't hunt over there. So, I was like, oh man. So I'm cycling my gun. It's that uh, bullpup over there. Desert Tech SRS. He, one I believe. Could be a two, I think it's one. Something with the trigger mechanism wasn't hit striking the primer very hard. So I cycled it a bunch of times while I was driving around still. And then, found this guy. He's uh, he's not a very big deer, not for my standards, but that's meat in the freezer. You know, younger bucks taste good. So thank you, I'll accept this. Time to take it home, clean them up, skin them, and get ready to process the meat. Because uh, that's one thing awesome about living on your own land is you get opportunities to harvest beautiful animals. I know he would have been a bigger buck if I would have let him grow a couple more years. But our bucks in area don't get that big anyways because there's not a lot of cover for them. They usually get picked off by, well, people like me, maybe. I have my hunting spots, just not this spot. So, let's load her up in the Can-Am Defender. We got the soft cover doors on it and a back window, so I'm riding in style inside. And this guy's gonna ride in the back again. Hunting's an awesome sport. And I have not been able to do much of it the last couple of years because I'm so busy with life. So, it's kind of fun to do this now and then. As soon as my kids get older, then it's game on. And then I don't pull the trigger, they do. Move along, ladies. I'm just trying to get back home. That's all I'm trying to do here. Just trying to get back home. 